Hey guys, welcome to the first Trader Joe's haul of 2024. We made it. I hope everyone had a good New Year's. I'm telling you, I don't know what is going on, but this sickness is never ending around here. One week, it's something new and it's a new person, but we are gonna get through this, we are good. Um, so there's only one new item this week that I found at my store, so we're just gonna try that right after I'm done with this haul. Let's get started. First up, I grabbed the organic um, acai puree packets. Uh, this one's great, I like to add this in my smoothies. I usually grab a big bag of this at uh, Costco. I don't even think I've tried tried the Trader Joe's one before, um, but it looks exactly the same as the Costco version. And then like I said, I like to add this in my smoothies and I need to be having some smoothies right now. So we grab that. The kids gotta have their french fries. So these are the ones that we always get, the handsome potato french fries. I grabbed some celery hearts over here. I'm gonna be making some chicken salad uh, for this week for lunches and stuff. We grabbed some bananas. This is a weekly staple. I always grab bananas. I just don't always film it. Um, but yeah, the kids love it and I love putting these in my smoothies as well. We have some oranges over here and then I also picked up the tiny, teeny, whatever it's called, avocados. These are my favorite. I just love the size of them. It's the perfect size. We have some refried um, beans over here. I grabbed the baby broccolini. This is so good, I love it. I will just like stir this up with some um, chili flakes and some olive oil and it's so good, it's a balsamic too. I just love eating this on its own so that's why I picked that up. And then we have got our first and only new item this week. The Snickerdoodle cookies were not at my store, unfortunately. Snickerdoodle cookies are Brent's favorite, so hopefully my store gets them in soon because I really wanna try those. But this one looks good too. This is the chicken, lentil, and caramelized onion pilaf. I mean, look at that. That looks really great. So there's um, saffron, basmati rice, dark chicken meat. Oh, I didn't know there was dark chicken in here. Dates and golden raisins. Okay, you kind of lost me at the dates and the raisins, um, but we will try this. This is in the freezer section. Okay, so here are the nutrition facts, and then we've got the ingredients down here, and then the heating instructions, either the microwave or the stove top. I will probably just do this in the stove top. That's the way I like to cook this. I also picked up the chimichurri rice. This one is great. This one and the Spanish style rice are my two favorite rices um, that Trader Joe's carry, so we grabbed that. I grabbed every flavor of the shots that Trader Joe's carries, because like I said, we gotta get rid of this sickness. So these are the four flavors. They have the acerola cherry, which is great. I hear that's like better than like orange juice, like with the vitamin D. Uh, we've got the turmeric shot, the ginger, and then the pineapple shot as well. The pineapple one's the best tasting one, um, but they're all great. You just pound them really quick. So we love their shots. I wish I could have them every day, but these are I think $2 a piece. It's just a lot for two people every single day. Um, so yeah, grab four this week. We were running low on ketchup, so I always pick this up. Lakeland has to have ketchup on everything, so the organic ketchup. This is my favorite to put on sandwiches. This one is the aioli garlic mustard sauce. This one is just so good. It's becoming my favorite. I put this on everything. I opened up our last yuzu hot sauce, so I had to pick up another one, keep it in the cupboard, because you never know when you're gonna run out. And then like I said, I'm making chicken salad this week. I usually pick this up at Sam's Club. I get like six of them for a really good price. Um, but I think I'm gonna go to Sam's Club, I think next week. If you guys wanna see that haul, let me know. Um, but Trader Joe's is the exact same ingredients. It's just chicken, water, and salt, I believe. Um, so I grabbed two cans of that. We got some plain uh, non-fat Greek yogurt, sour cream over here. And then I picked up the oven ready breaded cod fillets. I'm gonna be doing, I think like a fish bowl, like kind of air frying this and then chop up some like lettuce, rice, salsa, maybe some avocado, stuff like that. And kind of just make like a bowl out of this for dinner one day. So that's why we needed that. And this item, I don't know. I have never, I know they have the bean taquitos, but I have never seen, I don't know if it's just been a long time since I haven't seen it, but the chicken taquitos were like sticking out to me. I was like, I have not seen those in a long time. So I decided to pick them up because it was just calling my name. Over here, we grabbed some buttermilk. I have been making homemade um, buttermilk biscuits and they are so good, but I have been making like homemade buttermilk. I've been getting heavy cream, putting it in my stand mixer, making homemade butter and buttermilk. It's not that hard, but it is a process. You need a lot of heavy cream for it. So this week I was just like, you know, what? I'm just gonna buy the buttermilk. So taking it 
easier way out. Um, but I did pick up this big thing of organic half and half. Lately, I have just been liking half and half in my coffee. I'm just like, I don't know what it is, but all the creamers are just really sugary and stuff, and I've just been really liking half and half. So I picked that up for me. I also grabbed the dishwasher detergent packs. I always pick this up at Trader Joe's, another item that I don't always show, but it is new packaging now. That's why I wanted to show you guys. And these are great too. If you guys don't pick them up, if it's all clean ingredients. Well, I mean like clean for like dishwasher. It says free and clear, um, made without any dyes, fragrance, or chlorine bleach. It comes with 20 of them in here. It's usually in a bag, a plastic bag. So they changed it to like, I guess cardboard or like, you know, something that you can recycle which is great so I wanted to share that with you it's always a great price too if you guys um, ever need them Trader Joe's is a great place for it that's where I pick it up I used to go to Target but I just grab them at Trader Joe's every week now I grab the kids some cookies the soft baked snicker co snickerdoodle cookies so we, I would grab these because I thought we were gonna have the new snickerdoodle cookies so Tristan can have some cookies while we tried the new ones but my store like I said didn't have them in stock unfortunate uh, mine and Lakeland's favorite snack the mini almost everything bagel sandwich crackers. These are so good, one of our favorites. And then I had to pick up another one of this. This is the 100% ginger juice drink mix. This is another, it's powder like ginger. I add this into my smoothies as well. And then you can also just add it in warm water and have like a ginger drink, especially if you're sick or whatnot. Someone decided to be in the hall again. <laughs> Okay, and then we grabbed some organic stone ground yellow corn taco shells. We're having tacos tonight for dinner and the kids' tacos are their favorite and these are gluten-free, which is great. So the kids love it. And then last but not least, I just got myself a bottle of wine. This one is the Joseph Handler Riesling. This one is great, I love it. Um, it's, it's middle of sweetness, it's not too sweet, but it's definitely not dry. I don't like dry wine. Um, so it's the perfect like middle balance and I love it. So yeah, that is the haul this week, a little bit smaller only one new item but yeah let's try this new item let's see what it's all about okay we're on to the taste test portion we've only got one item to try do you want to read it so we only have it. one item there's only one new item this what? week i know hopefully trader joe's like steps it up next week i think it's been like three weeks or so i shall do it for you okay all right so we have the trader joe's chicken lentil and caramelized onion <laughs> What accent is that? I don't know. What is lentil? <laughs> Lentil. Lentil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what does this say? Pilaf? Yeah, pilaf. Pilaf. With saffron, masmati rice, dark chicken, meat, dates, and a golden and golden raisins. Yes, I know. Once it got to dates and golden raisins, I was kind of thrown off a little yeah. bit. But, I mean, we'll see how it is. First off, so... Um, you can break it up if you don't want to eat the whole bag. There's still, I used about half, so there's still some in here, and then I just microwaved some really quick in the microwave. I said I was gonna do the stove top, but if I just did a little bit, I just wanted to do the microwave, because we're kind of full. I brought home lunch on the way home from Trader Joe's, so we just ate, um, but it smells pretty good, and there's big pieces of the chicken. I don't know if you can tell, but like, look at that. You yes. can actually clearly see the chicken, the chicken pieces, which I think is good, so. It looks dry and sad. <laughs> Chicken. Well, it's dark. I said it's dark meat too, right? It says yeah, dark, dark meat chicken. chicken. So, okay, let's go for it. All right. I hope these dates and raisins are delicious. I think that's the raisin right there. If you yeah. like raisins, you should try it. It's not the raisins I know. Well, the golden raisin. Yeah, it's basically what a green grape that's just been dried up. Mm, I don't know. It has a sweetness to it. Are you picking up like the sweetness? I don't know if it's the raisin or the dates. I think dates are pretty sweet too. It might be the dates, but it has like a little bit of sweetness to it. It's like savory, and then it has a little bit of sweetness to it. What do you think? It's very dry. It is, but I did cook it in the microwave, so that could be it. You were just saying, though, I think it was this morning, you were craving yum yum sauce. I was. And I think this would be, I mean, I know it's not like, it just probably doesn't go with it, but I think it would be good with some yum yum sauce on top. Yeah. I mean, yum yum sauce is really good. Yeah, it, go it goes with, with everything, personally. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's okay. 
I was gonna say, it's okay. Yeah, it might be like a nice little like side dish or something well, to well, go with. So maybe like cook some meat with it and put the meat on top of it. It does have good flavor, I would say. It has like, yeah. you can taste, it has the sweetness to it. It has the chicken. You can taste like the lentils in it. So there's a lot going on with it. It's not bland by any means, right. um, but it's just okay. I don't know. Like I wouldn't eat this on its own. Well, I think a big problem <clears throat> with it too is mm -hmm. the fact that you did microwave it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The chicken is dry. Yeah. The rice and all the other uh, meats, dates, and golden raisins <laughs> um, taste good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The flavor is good. There's flavor there. It's yeah. just like... It's just the way it's cooked to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And I normally do cook it on the stovetop if I'm making it with dinner, but I just wanted to be quick for the taste test. So probably my bad. But yeah, um, overall, I mean, if it sounds good to you, you are going to be tasting like the lentils and stuff in there. So you're going to have that taste. If you're not a big fan of lentils, then you're not going to like this. Um, and like I said, it has a little bit of sweetness, but it's nothing too bad. Um, I'm not a big fan of raisins and I don't mind it. So, I'm assuming just up to you. the lentils are the little hard things in there, right? Yeah, do you see these little yeah, things they, right they there? They look like little seeds. Yeah, little seeds. Yeah, those are the lentils. So, yeah. really grainy. Um, it, like, yeah. It's in a lot of grain bowls and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, I would say it's okay. Um, probably not a repurchase for us, though. So, yeah. yeah. So, we hope there's some more new items next week and we can do like a bigger uh, taste test portion. But okay. we will see you guys then. Bye. Bye. Bye.